Hey guys, it's JD and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I know, I know, I know, I've been missing. I haven't uploaded a, a video in like two weeks and I do apologize. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? Um, sir, you are upside down. Um... Uh, you meditating? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, mainly for two reasons. Reason one, it's it it's too hot in this room to stay for a long. Uh, for for, for it, it's, it's too hot, man. Too hot to stay with the lights on, with the doors closed. Like I haven't got AC in this room, and it's it's super hot. And secondly, it's because of work, obviously. But mainly, mainly, it's because of the heat. Um, anyway, we're back. So, uh, we've just made in the last episode, since it's been a while, I just give a small recap. Um, we moved into this new camp, this new house. Um, we've saved John Marston, kid. Um, it was He was at Mr. Bronte's. We've met Bronte. Um, at his residence in San Dani, and he's an Italian mob. He lives somewhere here. Um, he he gave us the kid without without like particular trouble. We just had he gave us a small mission in the cemetery to kill the grave the g graveyard robbers, and that's it. Um, and now. We've got a few missions open. We have the Josea Matthews. Josea needs to speak to you. Yeah, because um, Bronte invited us to a party, uh, which is going to be held at the mayor's house. Um, so I would say let's continue on that storyline for now. So, Josea, how are you doing? Josea. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're going to make it to this party... We sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you down. <laughs> nice. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dress up and look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. You're drunk. ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. Makes I'm sense. Sure that sense. We will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions okay, there we after go. last year's incident. Boom, last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte go. will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. I haven't it's played the game in like Come more than two way. weeks, guys, so I need to get evening, it shall be. Um, Mr. familiar again with the commands. With the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, the thing, you know, respect. Respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. Look at Bill's we'll trousers. They're that short. We pay our respects <laughs> to Senor Brante. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Bronte. Okay, so Bronte is on a in a private area. In someone else's house, but he still has a private area. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboy. 
boys, you arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. Wow. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife young is not wife. What's wrong with having a young wife? Oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. Oh, well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> they must have their reasons. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we are going to need some money. Mm. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it. Jeez. <laughs> okay, good just day, gave gentlemen. us a blessed blessing Goodbye. to steal, to rob the trolley station. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Mm, okay, yeah. guys, not a good one. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. Okay, show us to the party, and off we go. Why would you stop to close that door? Now I'm curious what's behind that door. Uh, I don't know. Okay, do we trust Bronte? Definitely not. Definitely not. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. You could run some errands for him. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Back. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal Of course. Okay. So we have to find the mayor and be on our best behavior. I believe the mayor is having a conversation with these lovely people here. Mayor? Evening, folks. Good evening. Hello. I'm sure he's the mayor. Gentlemen, I hope you're having Hello. a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. 
and that extends to Saint Denis. But Mr. Miller, the Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. Is this the war this hero? This I man loves so. darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you, Nicola? Okay. Okay, nice. I know I see. We're... We saved the mayor. Oh, we saved the mayor from this guy. Now we're in the mayor's good books. So let's go back to the mayor. You calm down. Count to a thousand. Make it rejoin the party. There you go. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My oh, lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? <laughs> we just call us My deranged lord, drunkard. Fantastic. To mute my Mr. Phone, Cornwall was quite mute. insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Cornwall is Leviticus Cornwall. The guy um, who stole his train. His, well, without his train, he got his um, traveler's check stash, and then uh, he came and found us. I believe it was in Valentine, and we killed half of his people. So yeah, we've got, we've got history. So we're gonna follow this bloke. Stay back from the servant no to make problem. sure you are not Everything's spotted. Fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Nice. Taken care? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! 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 Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. I'm not sure if it's coming go out again and go up the stairs or... Stop talking. Look okay. at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. So we can go upstairs. Is this... Are we going back where we were before? I'm, I'm pretty sure we are. Ok, 
Okay, he disappeared. Oh shit, 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 shit. Now he comes out with with that. So Okay, okay, okay. So we go in. Nice and easy. And we inspect the ledger. Sipping some water. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's return to Dutch then. No one saw us coming in and out, so that's good. I think we should leave now. How do you do? Excuse me, sir. Dutch is all alone here. Dutch, I've got intelligence, Dutch. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Off we go. Off we go. There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Okay, we actually left without causing any trouble. And that's the first time it happened. Here comes money. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. Mm. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Okay, when Dutch has an idea, it is usually a bad idea. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Oh, shit. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Okay, so we've got, like, the trolley. We have to rob the station. We've got the poker game. What's this letter? My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? 
Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Mary is his ex-girlfriend, by the way. The one we met and saved her brother. Okay, so, um, take what? Ammo? Okay, good. Um, okay, let's get out. Let's get out. And, um... Let's see what options we've got. How are you doing? Good for you. Okay, so we have. Let's let me just open the map. Uh so we have Mary Beth. Mary Beth needs to speak to you. Okay. This is at the camp, and then if we go to Saint Denis, we've got a uh, stranger, we've got Trelawney, and we've got Mary Linton. Okay, let's start off with Mary Beth. Mary Beth, I believe, is this young morning, Arthur. lady here. Morning, Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. How are you, Arthur? I'm uh, fine. fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? None of your business, Mary Bell. You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. <laughs> in these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. Do a real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Okay. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we do we know, Tilly? Here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. But you don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. Good for her. Like I say, she was defending herself. 
She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Well, thank you. Anyway. Is the house? Talking right. to folks yeah, disappeared. I think so. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What do you want? Come, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Oh. Well, what are you waiting for? Jeez. It's Grimshaw. Oh my god. Okay, I've got pistons. I'll take that. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, Tilly's there, fine. She's unharmed. Just in case there's a cutscene or whatever, I'm gonna loot the place first. Here, I have enough. Okay. What's on the table? Premium cigarettes, which I cannot take. Okay, now it's still. This guy, can I loot him? It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, mm. let's get you out of here. I thought there was. Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. Killed three, so there's another two. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> The one in front of the boat. The one in front of the boat. Alright, get after them. Whose yeah. force is it? <laughs> there, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. We're coming for you, you bastards. They're heading down the hill to the water. You got it. Try to avoid the beast. And the rocks. They think they're getting away. Another thing coming. Okay, it's done. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to two. Oh, Go on. Shit. Whoa. That bastard. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Okay. Just did, That's sir. It. Now make sure you tie him up real good. We just did. Oh shit! Quick, get after him. Use the lasso. Don't kill him yet. How did he escape? Fuck! Come on, where's the horse?
What the? Come on! Okay. okay, so let's stow him. Comfortable enough for you? Go back you to You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Oh, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Uh. Funny bastard. She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. I shut up. Lord, oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you going to do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You got the call. You're Tilly will decide. You're okay. time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. <laughs> So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go well, on. Well, Tilly said no, so. Finish we'll the best. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Hope that this decision doesn't come back and bite us in the ass. Anyhow, let's uh, just. Jesus. We haven't looted the stranger. I happen to see something here. One eighty four, fifteen dollars, and what else? Silver earrings, nice. And we still have to search the cupboard. Search drawer and the right stand. Some hair tonic. It's always good to have. What else? Cartridges. Nice. 
rifle cartridges and revolver cartridges. Some snake oil. What about... Oh, more? There's a good stash here. Shotgun shells. Anything on the bed? No. Okay. I just wanted to... Yeah, check this one. Cooking gum. What do you do with a cooking gum? Is it something we take or the horse takes? I don't know. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a side table here. Miracle tonic. And that's it. I think it's... That's it. Have we been in here? I don't think we did. Ground coffee. Can I take your biscuits? No. Anything on the fireplace? Okay. This must be it. Okay, so... This is the horse we have. Now, um, what's this? We're like we're here, right? Let's see what. Let's check that out. Yep. Let's see what that question mark is. I know it's not the main mission. His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean right. off you. Come on. And I'll right. tell you, you lily livered. I think he no. escaped from the prison. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your Don't luck. push your luck. <laughs> nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Okay, Just so... Shut you shut up! This should be fairly easy. Let me start off by going to the train station and pay the bounty, if I have any. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be... If, if there's gonna be a wanted poster, it's gonna be here, right? Hello again. Pay bounty. Hmm, what bounties do we have? We're sweating a little. Yeah, pay. Come on. Wise investment. Keeping your head on your shoulders. Right, let's check the billboard here. Right. The notice board. Bounty poster. I told you. Well, oh, that's one. Yeah, that's them. Put away. Now. We should probably head Partner. back to town, winding the train. So if we usually the bounty posters are marked, correct? Are marked on the map. 
I don't want to say something stupid, but I think they are. Let's check. I'm pretty sure there might like it's like a frame and there's a I'm not going crazy man anyhow nothing here and nothing here Okay, so let's start making our way up the main street. Hey, don't be following me. I'm not following anyone, man. I'm just looking for some posters, that's all. Do beg your pardon. What's Would you pay? Damn, I saw a dot here. Like... Give me some money. Shock me these days. Okay. Move out of the darn way. There's a poster right there. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? See, it gets marked. <laughs> You can't I see it because I'm, I'm covering it. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Stranger antagonized. Hey, I need that poster. Oh, I'm moving. Oh. All right. How's this? <clears throat> what the hell? You oh, shit. I didn't. All right. Just keep away. Shit. Let's get out here. You keep still, this is my death wish. Someone help me. I didn't mean to kill him, man. Hide in the woods here. Take a look at them bushes. He's hiding now. Oh, shit. Might as well kill them. Okay, that was not my intention, man. Um, I'm not gonna... Well, maybe. Why not? You know what I'm gonna do, guys? Um... I'm cooking. <laughs> Do I have anything to cook? Show craftables. I haven't got anything? Got 
some plants. Nice. Okay, let's get out of the search area. Once we get out of this search area, we should be fine. Our wanted levels start to go down. Pick and examine. Sage. Got some sage. Okay, let's start heading back into town, guys. Because we're soon... Pick up and examine. What's that? Oregano. I love oregano on my pizza. Okay, so our wanted level has uh, gone down, disappeared. Okay, so we were somewhere here, right? Yes. Have we looted this guy? No. Might as well. Oh, and the... the, the I, I, I'm pretty sure we picked... We removed the... the, the pretty sure we took it. It's fine. Okay. Funny is... That now it's like nothing ever happened. No one is talking to me, no one is reporting me. There's, there's one here. That's number three. Number four. Let's see where we could find poster number four. It's here. Nice. So I can take okay. this force. Let's yeah. get out of here again. Because things are getting hot in here. We want it again because we've beaten that guy to death. So now they should be in the woods. So I'm assuming they should be on this side. Somewhere. I don't think we can interact with them unless the wanted meter goes down. Yeah, they're there. Misters. Obviously, they don't, have, they don't have any money, so I don't know how they're going to pay me back. I don't think they actually will pay us back. This all, almost costed my freedom, guys. So you better give me something good. Where are they? Sirs? Oh, there they are. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Uh, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Let's burn the posters. Ain't no business of mine. 
Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. Don't mention it, partner. That, then. That's that. Mission Free complete. Last. Free from you, at least. Well, not. Uh, where's my adoptive horse? This this wasn't the horse. Eat. What am I eating? Raspberry. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, if we. There's something here. There's another stranger here. I don't want to, like, maybe next time. Let me go to Josiah here. And then what we have here, the Charles Chatonet, the artist we met in the previous episode, Mary Linton and other Dorkins. Okay, let's go to Trelawney. Yep. Trelawney has been scouting um, that the the chip what seems the floating casino so let's see what he's got what kind of intel he has should it be that far away easy girl easy girl Just outside San Denis, I believe. Well, actually, over here. What over the here. fuck? It's just over the bridge. Okay, the horse is exhausted. I didn't, I didn't realize that. But yeah, I think it's just over this bridge over here. Because once we cross it, we go to the left and we find the long way. Sign the knee, we've got a bounty of $75. few cops there. At the graveyard. I don't think you got any idea about the land. Okay, Trelawney, where the flippin' juice are you? Shut up, sir. Let's try not to draw attention on us. Um, Homes for the blind. Okay, Trelawney should be Is someone there. Hello. Hope you don't fall on hard. I thought this was Dutch, but he's not. Trelawney should be here. Fine night of the bachery. The bachery, the bachery, the bachery. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Oh. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. 
Hello, can I help you Browse the catalog. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We have money? Yeah, $606. Looks like the Duke he really is. Um... It was the English's fault. Is the Whittemore a bespoke fine three piece town suit? I think that's the only one we have, so let's view it. You can see the aristocrat in a look at bar. that. We look like a million dollars, man. A very good choice, okay, sir. we're done. Do we wear a hat? I think we need a cut now. A haircut. Come on, let's get you to the barber. <laughs> Told you. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. Hmm. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Will we? Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick Cut hair. No. Hair. <laughs> This Styles. Let's give him made a new a style. Remember, we're playing uh, the rich now. I like this style. Of manners, or left parted, the left parted fade. Well, very good, mm, sir. No, no middle parted. It's not good. Let's go left not parted. Good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. And maybe we go a bit shorter. Not too short, though. Let's do a pomade. And uh, yeah, let's make do that. him look like a prince, sir. No, I don't like it too short. Now, what about facial hair? Uh, full styles. Let's see extra clean shaven, clean shaven, soap savior, Lego mutton. No, pennant. Oh, looks okay. Apron. Forked Spartan. Nah. Looks like a presidential. No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going for. I'm Maltese and I don't wear that kind of beard, but anyway. <laughs> Soap Savior. No. I pretty liked the this one. Thank you. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. There, very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. What is this? If we please you, tell others. If we don't, tell us. Okay. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Okay, enter the coach, and I think from here George, we're going off to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Ooh, yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? Coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. 
It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors. Well, like Trilone is the guy. Make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? What? Well, we'll, we'll soon. And we'll soon get to know what could possibly go wrong. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. There she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. I always found, find, found it fascinating on, how um, Rockstar could Drinks fill up the water. gaps with these um, dialogues. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I ain't, I ain't got any guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself to change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily at armed Arthur, riverboat man. without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Okay. So which table are we on? Okay, it's marked over there. Good evening, gentlemen. Name on it, sir. Apologies for being late. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not okay, to worry. Welcome Desmond to the Blythe. game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked okay, so what up we've got? waiting for me. A jack and a nine. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Unfold them. So, uh -huh. how are we all fair? Some better than others. I folded if because we all fair if the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. If but this guy is on our side, he wouldn't give us a jack and a nine. King. Unless it's gonna be a king and it's gonna be a straight. Preferred title, but yes, a minor straight. <laughs> Hello, my ladies. Damn it. No. And Mr. No. Blythe okay. wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Clive. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. Now that's a hand. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a I'm gonna suit. go all in. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Interesting. They're cowgirls. Jack and an ace, and uh, against. Okay, Jack and. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. He had a pair of jacks. Shit. 
shit. Maybe one with a pair of queens. Yes, my luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly mm. ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one, real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. Okay. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Again, it's a double king, right? <laughs> yeah. I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Me too, sir. Don't worry, sir. Unless he has Everyone aces, is that the is. author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing what does he ventured, have? nothing gained. Oh shit. Very good, but oh, shit. not good enough. Shit. shit. Okay, nine one. Uh oh. Okay, it's a flush. Yeah, yes, it's a flush and one. Little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! See ya, sir! No offense. None take. Well played, sir. Give me the watch. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but. Exactly, uh, man. Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Of course. Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Oh, Javier. Yeah. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Um, right me, behind sir. you, sir. Just close You're the door. Having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> He's talking about Javier. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but <laughs> you know, times. I've got my own little law give a right. Imagine here. now, Arthur. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Okay, now we should wait for him. Oh, Just there's another guard. Second, oh, shit. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Load the safe. It better be good, man. Have the no shot. Yeah. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's, okay, let's get go. out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Shot yeah. sounded like one. Come on. We are in trouble. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I don't know. I ain't jump off, sure. and we're not that far away from this the shore. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls, can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. 
Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm not gonna end well. Oh, look, there's your friend. No, sir, my friend is not a no good chief. Life. I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. There you go. Swimming too short. Cool. Okay. That went well, actually. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back to <laughs> All right, come on, let's get out of here. That was... That went pretty smooth. <laughs> 3,000 we got. My share was 750. Mission complete and good, man. It's good. Anyway, um, let's end this episode here because it's it's gone over an hour now. And uh, yeah, I'll try to be back as soon as possible. Until then, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, so don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to your channel. My name is Jaden. Thanks for staying safe. Bye bye.